Across Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia, the Southeastern Synod of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America lives out our faith as church together. Together, we engage in worship, outreach, disaster response, leadership, and much more. Like colored glass in a kaleidoscope, each of our Synod's four states, 160 congregations and 50,000 members shine with God's one light amid all our diversity. Our Synod knows that worship is at the heart of everything we do. When we gather around God's Word and Christ's welcome table, we are nourished and fed so that we might be church for the world. Southeastern Synod congregations worship with multiple cultural expressions and in seven different languages. In fact, Christ Kiswahili in Nashville is one of our fastest growing congregations where people from around the world dance, sing, tell stories, laugh, and praise God in Swahili. Worship in our synod is welcoming and open to all who want to explore a relationship with the living God, a relationship that begins when God meets us in baptism. Baptism is about owning the identity that comes from God. Um, it's something that starts with God and uh, something that also incorporates us into a community. So it's not just about me and Jesus, but it's about me and Christ's body and the community uh, of the church. Not only are we church together, but we are church for the sake of the world. Our Southeastern Synod congregations engage in outreach in their neighborhoods and beyond letting God's light shine all across the globe. We're called to reach out to those who are suffering. Peace Lutheran Church follows this call in partnership with Unchained. Peace has given nearly one third of its building to Unchained for use for providing shelter, food, clothing, and support to survivors of human trafficking. Our Synod believes in doing outreach together. In Nashville, two distinct congregations partner to serve the homeless. St. Paul Lutheran Church sits across the street from a homeless shelter in a vulnerable neighborhood, while St. Timothy Lutheran Church serves the outer suburbs. Monica Weber, a candidate for ordained ministry, serves as an intern for both congregations. With her guidance, the two churches have come together to turn St. Paul into a food bank. Every Sunday, these two parishes together with other Nashville area synod churches serve breakfast to nearly 200 homeless shelter residents. The ministry also provides hygiene kits, clothing, and much more. Our synod reaches out to communities in times of disaster. Together with Lutheran Disaster Response, we prepare for and respond to floods, tornadoes, and hurricanes whenever they strike. After Hurricane Katrina swept through the Gulf Coast, our coastal congregations became leaders in local disaster response. Christus Victor in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, housed, fed, and cared for more than 50,000 volunteers in the four years following the storm. The Southeastern Synod knows that raising up new leaders from all walks of life helps sustain our worship and our outreach. Our Synod nurtures the many ordained and lay leaders who make a difference in their communities every single day. Through candidacy, our Synod prepares new leaders for ministry. Currently, we are training close to 70 candidates. Our candidates use their gifts and their passion to strengthen the church and to seek out new ways of being church that are relevant for people today. In Atlanta, one candidate is partnering with a congregation to build a new type of Christian community. Once a month, churchgoers and non-churchgoers alike gather at Smith's Old Bar to drink beer and sing hymns. So I thought this was a great opportunity to take church outside the walls of a traditional building and out into the community where um, the people were. Over time, I would run into people who would hear that I was in seminary, would hear I would work in a church, and they would tell me their stories about how they were disenfranchised from church, or uh, how they didn't think uh, church was relevant, or didn't have anything to offer, or the community wasn't there. We all know all of the reasons why people aren't coming to the church any longer. The first time we did it, we did we had about 35 people, and in November at our Berenhams, we had um, in the 80s. This is an active community that uh, is turning into a, a worship community. There's pastoral care that's happening. 
Uh, even though it happens in a bar, we kind of have a liturgy. We have an order of service, and uh, there are relationships. And most of all, there is engagement with a living God. Another candidate is excited to use his role as pastor to nourish others and further the work of God. I like how the Lutheran Church, we emphasize on grace. The grace that we get, we get from God. And I cannot wait to see myself again save as pastor because I have to tell you, I have been missing this because after being pastor in Congo, saving people and this gap in that process, I am who I am today because I continue to, to receive the help and support from the church. Through opportunities for youth and young adults, our synod cultivates the next generation of leaders. Every year, congregations send dozens of youth to affirm our synod's annual youth event, where participants learn what it means to be Lutheran Christians and to deepen their leadership skills. Lutheran campus ministries across our synod support college students by creating spaces for them to worship, to serve, and to talk about faith, doubt, and life. When our communities look at the Southeastern Synod, they see more than hymns sung, meals served, or homes rebuilt. They see God's light shining brightly through each one of us, worshiping God and being church together.